بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم سٹوڈنٹس دس از پاک اسٹڈیز گریٹ ٹین چیپٹر نمبر ون ہسٹری آف پاکستان لیکچر نمبر سیون ٹاپک از نواز فرسٹ ٹرم ان آفس پیج نمبر ٹوینٹی فور ٹو ٹوینٹی فائیو ٹاپک ڈسکرپشن سو فرسٹ آف آل کانسیپٹ محمد نواز شریف فرسٹ ٹرم ان آفس فروم ٹو 96. So Mia Muhammad Nawaz Sharif was elected the Prime Minister after winning the elections of 1993, a renewal of agreement with India. So after becoming Prime Minister, he wanted to implement his agenda or manifesto. So he renewed agreement with India, which was previously signed by Benazir Bhutto. with the objective not to strike the sensitive installations, nuclear installation of each other. National Finance Commission was established. Second achievement was that of Nawaz Sharif was the establishment of National Finance Commission. The main objective was uh, of this commission was to give more economic independence to the provinces. Then Council of Common Interest was made It's actually a constitutional body made for resolving conflicts between the center and the provinces. Then the establishment of Indus River System Authority, IRSA, which was established for the purpose to distribute water properly among the provinces. Then establishment of Privatization Commission. So he made Privatization Commission in order to fast the process of privatization in the country and to attract more investment in the country economic reforms so he made certain economic reforms in detail we will be discussing this Sharia bill and establishment of Baitul Mal was another achievement of Mia Muhammad Nawaz Sharif so Sharia bill being an ideological country it was the wish of the people of Pakistan to establish a, sh a Shariat bill and to uh, make the society an Islamic society. Baitul Mal was made for the welfare of the people. Self-employment scheme. So he introduced self-employment scheme in which small loans were given to the people. labor policy similarly he introduced labor policy launch motorway Islamabad to Lahore Islamabad Lahore motorway was inaugurated and launched differences between president and prime minister so there were also emerged certain differences between the president and prime minister eight amendment bill to the Constitution dismissal of Nawaz Sharif government his government was dismissed when Nawaz Sharif then appeal in the made an appeal in the Supreme Court of Pakistan and the Supreme Court restored his government restoration of Nawaz Sharif government the Supreme Court of Pakistan on the appeal of Mia Muhammad Nawaz Sharif restored the government of Nawaz Sharif dissolution of the National Assembly and ultimately his government was dissolved by Farooq Ahmad Khan Lagari so we will be discussing these points in detail so Nawaz Sharif first term in office term mean Durania 1990 to 93 emerging as the leader of the parliamentary party with the greatest number of seats in the National Assembly Nawaz Sharif was invited by President Ghulam Isa Khan on November 6, 1990 to form government on January 27, 1991. India and Pakistan renewed the agreement on not to attacking each other nuclear installations. So Nawaz Sharif emerged as a uh, majority party leader in the National Assembly by winning greater number of the seats in the National Assembly and then he was 
uh, invited by President Ghulam Isa Khan on 6th of November 1990 to form his government. So on 27 January 1991, India and Pakistan renewed. This was actually an agreement which was previously signed by Benazir Bhutto. And now it was renewed by Nawaz Sharif. The main objective behind this agreement was not to attack each other nuclear installations. Installation means Tansibat, nuclear atomy. Nawaz Sharif announced the distribution of resources between the Federation and the provinces to the, be awarded by the National Finance Commission. So a commission was established by Nawaz Sharif to distribute the resources between Federation, Federation central government and provincial governments. So the main objective behind this was to give more provincial economic authority and autonomy to the provinces. The formation of a National Finance Commission was an important need of the time. With this award, the provinces gained financial independence from the center. Means, provinces became more autonomous in financial issue from the center, which paved the way for the provinces, provincial ec economic development on their own initiative. Now, the provinces could make their own initiatives economic initiatives so that's why it was an important achievement of Mia Muhammad Nawaz Sharif on the issue of distribution of waters of the river Indus chief minister of all the four provinces signed an agreement in 1991 the council of common interest CCI the council of common interest Mushtarika Mafadat Ka Council which is a constitutional body um, for resolving this was made for resolving conflicts between the center and the provinces the center of provinces ke darmiyan jo bhi tanazayat the uski hal ke liye uh, council of common interest banaya gaya in a meeting chaired by prime minister approved this agreement and decided to form the indus river system authority irsa was established and then implemented irsa Indus River System Authority. Note it down, please. To improve the economy, on January 22nd, 1991, the privatization commission was formed with the objective to lessen the burden on the treasury by privatizing those state run economic enterprises which were incurring losses. Now he wanted privatization. Unlike Zulfi Karli Bhutto, he wanted the country to be. Uh, to be um, stand, uh, to be standing on her own feet so that's why he wanted privatization to attract the private investor for their purpose he made the privatization commission the losses which are occurring in the enterprises so that may be stopped the government introduced certain reforms which facilitated foreign investment in the country and exports increased up to 12%. Thus, the country's foreign exchange increased. Similarly, the government uh, uh, introduced certain reforms which facilitated foreign investment, which attract foreign investment in the country and export increased. And likewise, exports were increased up to 12%. Note it down, please. 12%. Thus, the country's foreign exchange increased. Foreign exchange means Zare Mubadila. Exports Baramdat. Investment Saravayakari. The government also announced an agriculture policy aimed at promoting the development of agriculture sector in the country. As Pakistan is an agriculture uh, country, so uh, the main objective behind this policy was to develop agriculture further. It encompassed the provision of both financial and non-financial incentives to the farmers. So similarly, this policy encompassed to give the provision of both financial mali or ghair mali jo incentives the. Incentives mean kya? Raghib karne ke liye farmers ko chand marad dene ke liye jaise seed saste de diye jaise beech sasta de diya jaise fertilizer jo masnoi kaade hain wo saste de diye tractors pe thoda sa wo soft loans de diye ye sara kuch kiya taaki farmers ko attract kiya jaye unka fayda zyada ho aur wo zyada kaash kar sake 
Okay, Sharia Bill 1991 was introduced and in passed by a National Assembly. Sharia Bill यहाँ पे पेश किया गया और इसका मकसद था कि जो अवलियत है वो कुरान और सुन्ना को दिया जाए कानून में लीगली और एडमिनिस्ट्रेटिव अफेयर्स में दोनों कानूनी और इंतजामी उमूर में एडमिनिस्ट्रेटिव अफेयर्स मीन इंतजामी उमूर सो द बैतुल माल वॉज क्रिएटेड विद ऑब्जेक्टिव ऑफ वेलफेयर ऑफ द पीपल पुअर एंड नीडी सो सिमिलरली बैतुल माल वॉज क्रिएटेड द मैन बिहाइंड the the main objectives behind this uh, the establishment of Baitul Mal was the welfare of the poor people and to help them the the tackle to tackle the problems of increasing unemployment the government in launched a self employment scheme under which the unemployment population could receive three kinds of loans that is 50000 150000 and 300000 rupees so this was a self employment scheme in which soft loan were given to the masses to the unemployment population jo berozgar abadi thi mulk ke usko ye haq diya gaya ki wo qarze le aur usse apna karobar shuru kare so that they may not be a burden on the government the government also announced a labor policy labor policy announced ki hukumat ne under which the all the employment from the grade 1 to 16 जहाँ पे तमाम जो मुलाजमीन थे ग्रेड एक से लेके सोलह तक इन बोध गवर्नमेंट एंड सीमी गवर्नमेंट डिपार्टमेंट्स रिसीव्ड एट हॉक अलाउंस दोनों हुकूमती और नीम सरकारी और नीम सरकारी जो डिपार्टमेंट्स थे महकमे में उसमें उसके जो भी मुलाजमीन हैं थे ग्रेड एक से लेके सोलह तक उनको ये हक दिया गया कि वो रिसीव करें बजट में एट हॉक अलाउंस आर जी ए लॉन्स ये बेसिक पे पे नहीं होता एक्चुअली ये हर बजट में जो पैसे वो ज़्यादा किए जाते हैं जैसे टेन परसेंट एक बजट में सैलरी पे दिया जाता है बेसिक पे के अलावा तो ये वो एड हक अलाउंस है ओके नेक्स्ट द गवर्नमेंट ऑफ मियाँ नवाज शरीफ इन नाइनटीन नाइन्टी टू लॉन्च अ मोटर वे बिटवीन इस्लामाबाद एंड लाहौर इस्लामाबाद लाहौर मोटर वे लॉन्च किया गया so as to reduce traffic jams behind uh, the the objective behind this was to reduce the traffic jams however it was during the vast second term in office that it was completed and the motorway was inaugurated in 1997 taham ye jo motorway shuru ki gayi thi 1992 mein isko complete kiya gaya 5 years mein complete kiya gaya aur fir iski iska ibtitah kiya gaya inaugurate kiya gaya 1997 mein on september 5th 1992 the prime minister to promote self reliance initiated public transport program for self employed youth now the prime minister initiated another uh, move towards uh, uh, to eradicate Uh, unemployment from the country in, uh, for this purpose he promotes self reliance scheme in which transport program scheme actually in which different uh, vehicles were given to the people on soft loans that is taxis bus van truck pickups motor rickshaw rickshaws etc so all these vehicles were given on soft loans so that the people may initiate their own employment of all types could be obtained on only 10% down payment only 10% of down payment pehle se jo rakam jama karni hoti hai usko down payment kehte hain so differences develop between the president and the prime minister on the issue of the appointment of the chief of the army staff and the draft of the eight amendment to the 1973 constitution so now the differences emerge between the president and prime minister on the issue of the appointment of chief of army staff and also on the eight amendment bill to the constitution eight artwi tarmimi bill 1973 ki constitution mein je pesh kiya gaya is pe aur army chief ke tainati pe dono mein wazir azam aur sadar ke mabain taluqat jo the wo kharab ho gaye on april 18 1993 the president dissolved the assemblies Uh, dismissed Nawaz Sharif and appointed Balakh Sher Mazari. Balakh Sher Mazari is the caretaker prime minister. So, in the result of uh, these conflict between the prime minister and the president, National Assembly was dissolved and Nawaz Sharif was dismissed under Article 
58 to B by the president. So Balakshir Mazari was appointed as the caretaker prime minister, Nigran prime minister. Nigran kya hota hai? Pehle aapne previous, uh, pehle aap previous usme topics mein ki ek Nigran wazir azam wo hota hai jo ke aage naye election karata ho aur Nigran setup ki Nigrani karta ho. Speaker of the National Assembly chair in this action in the Lahore High Court. Now Speaker of the National Assembly. Challenge this act of the president in Lahore High Court and Nawaz Sharif also submitted a petition in the Supreme Court for the restoration of the National Assembly. Now Nawaz Sharif also submitted a petition in the Supreme Court in order to restore his government. So in its judgment of May 26, 1993, the Supreme Court struck down the dissolution of the, of the president and So, in its judgment of May 26, 1993, the Supreme Court struck down the dissolution of the National Assembly and the dismissal of the Prime Minister in his cabinet and restored the National Assembly by uh, Prime Minister Nawaz Sharif in his cabinet. So, in his judgment, the Supreme Court of Pakistan on May 26, 1997 reinstated restored the government of Nawaz Sharif and the National Assembly and his cabinet. So on May 27, 1993, Nawaz Sharif go, uh, got the vote of confidence from the National Assembly. So on May 26, 27, 1993, Nawaz Sharif again got the vote of confidence at Ahmad Ka vote Lena for the National Assembly. So the growing political crisis was resolved. So, Bharti Hui Jo Bohran Ta Siyasi Usko Kabu Kiya Gya Hal Kiya Gya with the indirect military arbitration. Indirectly, Bila Vasta Jo Foj Ke Mudakhilat Se Arbitration mean Mudakhilat Se. So, uh, led to the resignation of Ghulam Isa Khan from the presidency. Or Jis Ke Baas Jo Ghulam Isa Khan Te Wo Bhi Resign Kar Gaye The Dissolution of the National Assembly and the holding of fresh general election within a given time frame aur iski saath hi matlab unhone assembly bhi tod di muattal kar di aur naye elections jo the wo ab hone lage the utka time muqarrar kiya gaya tha aur consequently on 8 july 18 uh, uh, july 18 1993 president gulam isa khan dissolved the national assembly and resigned as a president of the republic aur iske saath hi natijatan 18 July 1993 ko President Ghulam Isa Khan te unho ne dissolve kar diya National Assembly muattal kar di aur khud bhi resign kar gaya and Wasim Sajjad the chairman senate became acting president and Muin Qureshi was appointed as a caretaker prime minister aur iski natije mein jo Wasim Sajjad te jo senate ki chairman te wo ab kaim maqam acting mean noted down please kaim maqam sadar ban gaye or Muin Qureshi uh, Tainat ki gaye Nigran Wazir Azam ke taur pe. Again, Nigran Wazir Azam kis liye hota hai? Agle elections karane ki liye Nigran ek setup banaya jata hai. Iske sarbarahi koon karta hai? Nigran Wazir Azam, caretaker prime minister. So, from the above discussion again, uh, Nawaz Sharif government was dissolved under the article 58 to b So, this article was actually uh, owned by and uh, through an amendment by General Ziaul Haq and just uh, the original constitution of 1973 was replaced with semi arkozai presidential form in that system the president is a powerful person rather than prime minister.